Welcome to Booze Under Rocks, and today we're going to make Cherry Coke. And we're going to make it adult style. That means it's boozy. And you know what? Absolutely fantastic. When I did some research while I was coming up with this idea, I wanted to find out where Cherry Coke ranked in the overall plethora of uh, flavors that they put in. And it just happens to be, over multiple sites, Cherry Coke is the top, which is why, you know what? Since I love this stuff anyways, I'm making it for you. Now this is an easy ingredient cocktail. Easy three ingredient cocktail. Anyways, uh, but you're gonna build it in a glass. So grab yourself your favorite glass. Now this is a pint glass, it's 16 ounces, 480 mils. And we're going to start this by just loading the... <laughs> uh, not doing that. Anyways, load the glass with ice. <laughs> Once you've done this, you're going to choose your favorite whiskey. Now, I've decided to go with some bourbon for this cocktail for a couple of reasons. A, it's gonna give me a little bit of that spice that I want, and I know it works really good with one of the other ingredients here. So if your favorite version of, say, whiskey and Coke is with bourbon, or scotch, or say a Canadian whiskey, go with what you like most, because it's going to give you that flavor that you're expecting to get. Um, that sounded a little bit drawn out and way too much complicated for something that's basically just a cherry Coke. Anyways, uh, I'm using Old Granddad. It's 40% ABV or 80 proof, and we're going to use two ounces or 60 mils. Your next ingredient is going to be a homemade cherry syrup. Now, there's a way that you can cheat when you do this. Uh, you can do it one of two ways. You can buy something, or you can use something you have, or the third way, you can make it on your own, which is what I've done here, and this is one part water, one part sugar, two parts cherry. And what I did is I just cut the cherries, or I split them, I should say, and took the pits out because the pits can make this bitter. What I used was sweet cherries, and I want that natural cherry sweetness to work its way through. Now, you don't need a lot. We're going to use three quarters of an ounce, or 22 and a half mils. Your follow-up ingredient is going to be what is your star of your show. Now, depending upon where you're from in the world, your Coke will be made differently. Now, luckily enough, I was able to get some Coke that was made in Mexico, which means it actually uses cane sugar in the production of it. So it's going to be a little bit less chemically. Now, what we are going to do is we're actually just going to top this up with your Coke of choice. Now, one of the things you'll notice is that this is layered to the bottom where the syrup is actually heavier than everything else. So you're just going to need to give this a mix because you wanna bring that syrup and that cherry flavor all throughout the top. Now, one of the things that you can do, and this is alternative to this, is you can actually use a real cherry down in the bottom muddled to add a bit more cherry flavor if you find you need some. However, we are gonna garnish this with a very nice big looking cherry, like so. And here we have Cherry Coke. Yeah, that is good. The cherry comes through, it's slightly sweet, and you get the spice from the bourbon, the bourbon is there. And again, depending on the whiskey you use, it's definitely going to adjust those flavors for you to something you really like. If you like this style of cocktail, I've made a chocolate Coke up here. 